I'm glad you made it, Inquisitor. I fear they've already started the ritual. It has to be blood magic. I hope we can stop them before more people get hurt. You take point. I'll guard your backs. Wait! No! Warden Commander Clarell's orders were clear. This is wrong. Remember your oath. In war, victory. In peace, vigilance. In death. I'm sorry. Sacrifice. Oh. Find it just as I showed you. Inquisitor, what an unexpected pleasure. Lord Livius Edamond of Virantium, at your service. You are no warden. But you are. The one Clarell let slip. And you found the Inquisitor and came to stop me. Shall we see how that goes? It looks like you've already done some of my work for me. What, him? We simply needed his blood. Oh, were you hoping to garner sympathy? Maybe make the Wardens feel a bit of remorse? Wardens, hands up! Hands down. Corypheus has taken their minds. They did this to themselves. You see, the calling had the Wardens terrified. They looked everywhere for help. Even to Vinter. Yes, and since it was my master who put the calling into their little heads, we in the Venatori were prepared. I went to Clarell full of sympathy, and together... We came up with a plan. Raise a demon army, march into the deep roads, and kill the old gods before they wake. So you manipulated the Wardens to build an army of demons for Corypheus? Just so. Sadly for the Wardens, the binding ritual I taught their mages has a side effect. They're now my master's slaves. This was a test. Once the rest of the Wardens complete the ritual, the army will conquer Thedas. So Corypheus influenced the Wardens and made them do this ritual? <laughs> made them? No! Everything you see here, the blood sacrifices to bind the demons, the Wardens did it of their own free will. Fear is a very good motivator. And they were very afraid. That's a lie. The Grey Wardens are heroes. They would never do this willingly. The Grey Wardens care about nothing save stopping blights. They will do anything to accomplish that. You should have seen Clarell agonize over the decision. Burdens of command, I suppose. Why would the Wardens try to kill the old gods? A blight happens when Darkspawn find an old god and corrupt it into an archdemon. If someone fought through the deep roads and killed the old gods before they could be corrupted, woof! No more blights, ever. The Wardens sacrifice their lives and save the world. That's madness! For all we know, killing the old gods could make things even worse. Well then, it's a good thing I'm taking this demon army off their hands. Why would Clarell risk using demons? Demons need no food, no rest, no healing. Once bound, they will never retreat, never question orders. They are the perfect army to fight through the deep roads. Or across LA. Now they are bound to my master. Do you really want to see the world fall to the Blight? What do you get out of this? 
The Elder One commands the Blight. He is not commanded by it, like the mindless Darkspawn. The Blight is not unstoppable or uncontrollable. It is simply a tool. Somebody's certainly a tool. As for me, while the Elder One rules from the Golden City, we, the Venatori, will be his god kings here in the world. That's all I needed to know. Oh, please. The Elder One showed me how to deal with you in the event you were foolish enough to interfere again. That mark you bear, the anchor that lets you pass safely through the veil, you stole that from my master. He's been forced to seek other ways to access the Fade. When I bring him your head, his gratitude will be... refused to listen to reason. You were correct. Through their ritual, the mages are slaves to Corypheus. And the Warden Warriors? Of course. Sacrificed in the ritual. What a waste. Araman lied to the Wardens. They were trying to prevent future blights. With blood magic and human sacrifice. The Wardens were wrong, Hawk, but they had their reasons. All blood mages do. Everyone has a story they tell themselves to justify bad decisions. But it never matters. In the end, you are always alone with your actions. I believe I know where the Wardens are, Your Worship. Eremond fled in that direction. There's an abandoned Warden fortress that way. Adamant. I want these Wardens. We cannot let Corypheus gain an army of demons. The Warden and I will scout out Adamant and confirm that the other Wardens are there. We'll meet you back at Skyhold. Inquisitor. Report. What's the situation in the Warden's Fortress? Bandits moved in. Worse than Quillbacks, if you ask me. They're holed up in there, and using it as a base to strike at our supply caravans. 
blasted scavengers. Report, Captain. What's the situation in the Western Approach? The last vestiges of the Venatori are on the run, Inquisitor. We've had a few skirmishes with the stragglers. Nothing serious. Carry on, Captain. Yes, Inquisitor. Nothing to report, sir. Inquisitor?
I tracked that Venatory mage back to Adamant Fortress. They're looking at assault options now in the war room. Thanks for coming. You did well, Varric. The Inquisitor is just who we need. Darth, oh, it's, it's been great. Murderous wardens, archdemon attacks, plenty of blood mages and crazy Templars. Just like home. I know how much you hated leaving Kirkwall. This is the ass end of Thetis. You know they eat snails here? Still, I, I think I, uh, I need to finish this out. If it weren't for me and Bartrand, none of this would have happened. So much for changing our lives. That's what happens when you try to change things. Things change. You can't always control how. I tracked the Wardens to Adamant Fortress, Inquisitor. Your specialists have my full report. Adamant Fortress has stood against the Darkspawn since the time of the Second Blight. Fortunately for us, that means it was built before the age of modern siege equipment. A good trebuchet will do major damage to those ancient walls, and thanks to our Lady Ambassador... Lady Cyril of Jader was pleased to lend the Inquisition her sabots. They've already delivered the trebuchets. That is the good news. None of that accounts for the Warden summoning a giant demon army. That is the bad news. The Inquisition forces can breach the gate, but if the Wardens already have their demons... I found records of Adamant's construction. There are choke points we can use to limit the field of battle. That's good. We may not be able to defeat them outright, but if we cut off reinforcements, we can carve you a path to Warden Commander Clarell. Taking this fortress is going to get a lot of good soldiers killed. Our soldiers know the risks, Inquisitor, and they know what they're fighting for. It'll be hard fought, no way around it, but we'll get that gate open. It's also possible that some wardens may be sympathetic to our cause. The warriors may be willing to listen to reason, though I doubt they will turn against Clorel directly. The mages, however, are slaves to Corypheus. They will fight to the death. We've built the siege engines and readied our forces, Inquisitor. Give the word, and we march on Adamant.
make use of it. We'll keep the main host of demons occupied for as long as we can. I'll be fine. Just keep the men safe. We'll do what we have to, Inquisitor. Warden Stroud will guard your back. Hawk is with our soldiers on the battlements. He's assisting them until you arrive. <laughs> There's too much resistance on the walls. Our men on the ladders can't get a foothold. If you can clear out the enemies on the battlements, we'll cover your advance. Inquisition is here to stop Clarell, not to kill Wardens. If you fall back, you won't be harmed. All right. My men will stay back. We want no part of this. Deal with Clarell as you must. Well said. I had hoped some of the Wardens would listen to me.
area around the ladder. Stay with my forces, and see that they survive this. I'll keep the demons off them as best I can.
path for our guys.
Wardens, we are betrayed by the very world we have sworn to protect. The Inquisition is inside, Clarel. We have no time to stand on ceremony. These men and women are giving their lives, Magister. That might mean little in Tavinta, but for the Wardens, it is a sacred duty. It has been many long years, my friend. Too many, Clarel. If my sword arm can no longer serve the Wardens, then my blood will have to do. It will. Stop them! We must complete the ritual! Inquisitor, I want to bind the Warden Commander to a demon. Everyone in this room already knows that. And yes, the ritual requires blood sacrifice. Hate me for that if you must, but do not hate the Wardens for doing their duty. We make the sacrifices no one else will. Our warriors die proudly for a world that will never thank them. And then your Tevinter ally binds the mages to Corypheus. Corypheus? But he's dead. These people will say anything to shake your confidence, Clarell. Bring it through! I have seen more than my share of blood magic. It is never worth the cost. I trained half of you myself. Do not make me kill you to stop this madness. Be ready with the ritual, Clarell. This demon is truly worthy of your strength. Grey Wardens have a proud history. You stopped the Blight at the Silent Plains. At Starkhaven, and Hunterfell, at Aisley, and Denerim. This world owes you a debt it can never repay. I would not stand against you if I did not know you were being misused. Clarell, we have come so far. You're the only one who can do this! Perhaps we could test the truth of these charges to avoid more bloodshed. Or perhaps I should bring in a more reliable ally. My master thought you might come here, Inquisitor! He sent me this to welcome you!
destroyed the Grey Wardens. <laughs> you did that to yourself, you stupid bitch. All I did was dangle a little power before your eyes, and you couldn't wait to get your hands bloody. Never serve the blight. Where are we? We were falling. Is this... Are we dead? No. This is the Fade. The Inquisitor opened a rift. We came through. Survived. I never thought I would ever find myself here physically. Look, the Black City. Almost close enough to touch. This must be very exciting for you, Solus. Any advice you have on what exactly is going on would be wonderful. What spirit commands this place? I have never seen anywhere like it. It's not how I remember the Fade, either. Perhaps it's because we're here, physically, instead of just dreaming. The stories say you walked out of the Fade at Haven. Was it like this? I don't know. I still can't remember what happened the last time I did this. Well, whatever happened at Haven, we can't assume we're safe now. That huge demon was right on the other side of that rift Eremond was using. And there could be others. In our world, the rift the demons came through was nearby, in the main hall. Can we escape the same way? Let's find out. There, let's go. This is fascinating. It is not the area I would have chosen, of course. 
but to physically walk within the Fade. Right. You like it here. Isn't that wonderful? Yes. Literally. I don't suppose you have any words of wisdom for this part of the Fade? Why would I ever voluntarily come to this part of the Fade? The demon that controls this area is extremely powerful. Some variety of fear, I would guess. I suggest you remain wary of its manipulations and prepare for what is certain to be a fascinating experience.